asbestos has been removed. These are the grills that I'm going to change. the old furnace and coil. See where the copper ends? This is the copper right here. It's 3 8 also in that one. That's the copper. Goes to the evaporator coil right there. As you can see this is a mess right now. This is the supply plenum. Here's where all the ducts connect. The evaporator coil. This is where the copper comes in through the evaporator coil. These are the drains. As you can see there's no secondary drain pan. There's also no significant seismic strapping for the entire system. Underneath they went cheap with just 2x4s. That one has a 2x4 wrapped in sheet metal. This is the before. You'll see the after. See this gas flex connector goes into the furnace. It's supposed to be hard piped out just for anybody who asks for a drip leg. We don't use drip legs in California, not necessary. Here's our return, just elbows right into this metal it comes out on the side of the goes down this closet and it comes out on the side of the wall low on the side of the wall very small return there's also another return right there and it goes to the cap on the return I already strung all my lights so I can work comfortably. I like to work with plenty of light. I also turned on the attic fan. It was not wired before. It is wired now. I also put these efficient light bulbs. They don't produce as much heat. But check this out. This nice transition they made here. Of course, by nice, I don't really mean nice. That's their transition from square to round, rectangular to round. Anyways, all this is going. The asbestos is already gone. I'll show you the other angle. Okay, this is the other angle. This is from behind the furnace. And I turned off the attic fan so that you can hear me. Not that you probably care to hear what I'm got to say. Just wanted to show you guys. The asbestos has been removed. The cans have been painted or they like to say encapsulated. We'll reuse those cans. Nothing wrong with them. There's a duct in there I'm gonna have to pull out. It's not as best as so they left it for me of course. But yeah, this is from the rear of the unit. You can see those beautiful 2x4s they put right there. With sheet metal to hold up the furnace. 
again no secondary drain pan I see that pan on the outside but that's not a secondary drain pan that I acknowledge so that's it I'm gonna show you the condenser on the roof okay so we are now going to the back we're going to show you well, I'm gonna show you the condenser in the back and it is on the roof I don't know if you can see it from there I'll take you closer now you're gonna see what an installation from the air conditioning guy looks like after I'm done ripping this out I will install a new system the correct way so I see system the condenser is on a angle iron looks like the angle iron is still pretty solid but the way they did it you can see that the pad was starting to crack it was just a matter of time before it gave it's another big crack over here really silly the way they did this but we'll fix it it looks like the Huh. It's just two inch zip screws holding it down. And there's no disconnect here, no service disconnect. Just wired right into the unit. Copper has been kinked right here, you can tell. Probably didn't affect it much, but still, you don't want to kinked copper so yep that's what we have right now next video probably show you after everything has been removed so just got done ripping out this old furnace now I'm gonna show you what the evaporator coil looked like inside there is the evaporator coil, really clogged. This is what it looks like when the evaporator is clogged. Usually when you don't have a filter you run the system without a filter there's supposed to be a coil under here ah there's the coil there was absolutely no air getting through this coil this is all the dust that collected and hair you see the hair it probably had pets could be people's hair too because it had a return down low this is a clock coil there was no air going through now I just want to show you how we seal the cans to pass first testing I accidentally grabbed the white duck sealer I don't like the color but it doesn't matter so we seal all around the can So these cans have now been enlarged. We also seal them. There's gonna be a little painting needed right there, a little painting touch up, but that's okay, they're gonna paint the house. There it is.
I put treated lumber in the bottom. 